Hello again, peoples of the internet. It's me, Watchman98, and I'm here to show you some things in Minecraft Xbox 360. These are item transport systems. So, in the computer version, there are what are they called hoppers, I think. Yeah, where you can throw items in and they go into chests. They would be really useful for making transport systems. But since in Minecraft Xbox there are not hoppers at the moment, I have made my own designs for transporting uh, items in item form, like when you throw a torch on that, they're in that form. So if you make it take too long, then obviously they'll disappear, which would be a bit annoying. But in this one, they go fast enough, so... Anyway, uh, get to it. What happens here is you press that, and then it'll fire out all the stuff. This will go down there. It's slow, not fast at all. You could just do it so it drops straight down, and then into water stream, which goes down, which would be faster. But this is more showing a directional movement so you can transport them lengthways and widthways and whatever. Whichever ways you want. That's why the water stream helps more in that case. But if you want to transport directly downwards and just throw chuck them out the uh, dispenser and drop them into a water thing which will carry them over to the pressure plate which is here. Open this door here. See the end. The stuff will land this wooden pressure plate. Wooden pressure plates can be activated by dropped items. So if I say if I lob this on that, it'll be activated and that makes a little plinking noise. But also, it does something up there, I'll show you that later. None of the items are going to get here in time, are they? Uh, no, they're nowhere near. Let's throw that over there, and then you see it's about to land on that thing. So just go up here, and... There we are. So that shows that the items reach the bottom there, and I want to get some proof... Oh, not proof, but you know. Something about this, which is like a feature here. So if I have, let's say, test certificate, there we are, that's useful. Place one here because the stone pressure plate can only be activated by mobs or people. So when a person comes to grab it, a bloody test certificate escapes. God damn it, test certificate. Oh, I can just put it up here. See, it says item collected. So then you know when somebody's gone to grab it because they step on the, uh, the stone pressure plate and that can only be activated by people. So you know there's a person definitely there or a mob, but I doubt any spiders or creepers will be able to get into here. God damn it. Anyway, yeah, so now this stuff's arriving, and that should just, you know, do that, grab the stuff. And then each time it lands in there, it blinks. Also, when you send the items, so when you activate this, this is it, by the way, this is a lever that did the activate resin clock. So all the stuff is fired out by a resin clock, so it's fired out as fast as possible, just loads of random crap in there. But when you push that, the resin clock, thing stopping the resin clock is deactivated, the resin clock starts, so it keeps firing. But as you can see, it fires it over a pressure plate, and with pressure plates, if they're in like the same block, or I think it's like the same bottom half block, some, some bullshit like that, uh, it will act with that pressure plate, that wooden pressure plate, because it's only for items, and then that will activate this resonant line, which goes down here, and connects with that, and goes on the side of that. But that basically uh, pulls this down, it says item sent, so I'll just throw one item on there, so it's easier just to see. Or I can just not, keep keeps pushed. So items keep getting sent, so that keeps opening over and over again, saying item sent. But yeah, so that is the main way this system works. So there's a water stream here, and that's what it does. It has a sending signal, a receiving signal for each side, so when it wants sent, then it'll show you on the bottom side. When one's received by the bottom side, it'll show you on the top side. It'll also show you on the bottom side when one has reached its destination. It'll show you on the top side when one has reached its destination too. So that's what it does it's basically some simple redstone stuff here I told you about the redstone clock that when you pull this lever it stops sending power to the block that's in the redstone clock so the redstone clock can go because that's not being powered anymore or something yeah that's how it works and then these basically just get the power of the signals up there so these are the quickest way to get redstone signals upwards just torch block torch block because that works with knock gates if you don't know what knock gate is uh, you power a block with a torch on it and the torch goes off. I've also got a video of stuff that's over there about how to make certain systems. If you want to do that, you want to make stuff as cool as this, then that will be helpful. I've also got another uh, system of transporting blocks when I'm going to give you, or items, but I'm going to give you another video for that. Because these videos will take a while, and this one has. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure what else I can say about this. It flows down there and does that. Redstone, the easy way to do it is redstone line goes up there. Obviously you can hide these in the walls, so all the way and the pathways and stuff can be hidden in the walls easily. And yeah, water is a really useful way of transporting stuff. 
And when we do get others, the other ones there, when we do get hoppers in Minecraft, it'll be so much easier. Do that, and they're gonna land there, and they're gonna blink. And make a little noise anyway. There we are. So that's item received. Yeah, but when we do get hoppers, I will definitely start making videos with those and rest some blocks and all that other really cool stuff that I am waiting for and has not come yet. It's gonna take a while, guys. But when I do get it, you can look forward to some more cool inventions using those things by me. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, you know, like, rate, comment, all that stuff. All feedback is appreciated. And yeah, watch one of the videos if you like this, because there's a lot of stuff. And also look out for the video, which is this one, which sends items directly upwards. A slightly more difficult system, well, a much more difficult system. But it works nonetheless, and it's pretty effective. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and hope you find this useful. Because that's the point of these videos. Anyway, see ya.